I was kind of rushing through the workout, man. A lot of people in there, a lot of people walking up to me asking me if I'm filming myself, what am I doing? I had a kid ask me if I was natural. I laughed and told him no. He said, yeah, I didn't think so. Your forearms look stupid. And I was like, yeah, they're pretty nasty. Thanks, bud. All right, gentlemen, here we are again, sitting outside the gym, the local gym, not the muscle. Uh, I've been working late every day, um, far from home. The extra drive time is killing me. So just want to hit something close, get back home to the family. We're going to train arms and back. We're going to try to keep the exercise selection within the confines. So we're going to start off with biceps, preacher machine curl, Gonna do something for the brachialis, so some sort of hammer curl, probably a rope on the cable station, um, an isolated, an isolateral tricep push down, a low angle row, and probably an underhand grip pull down. Five movements, maybe six if I'm feeling spunky, but yeah, trying to get back on the schedule. I had some layoff time where, you know, going to the gym even more infrequently than normal, but trying to get back into the swing of things, man. I got a lot better in a year <clears throat> doing what I've been doing, so I'm trying not to take my foot off the gas for too long. So let's get in there, let's tear it up. Catch you on the inside. All right, here we are, seated. Uh, preacher curl machine. Same rule of thumb always goes with preacher curls, guys. Don't don't worry about a full extension. It's the most possible shear forces you can put on your bicep at the elbow. You'll snap your shit up had guys injured themselves doing it. If you notice, when I do this, it's always three quarters of the rep. Don't worry about that stretch. This shit is not as important as they need it out to be. What's important is, is that you get effective reps and they fucking slow down. So I did some pretty extensive warming up. Uh, I say extensive, just more than I normally would do. I wanna be good and hot before going into this. And frankly, I always tell you guys, there is no set prescription. It's going by feel. And it feels good. So I've been hitting my back in between my warm up, warm, my warm up sets for my biceps, hitting a little triceps too. So I'm ready to go. Looking big, feeling big. About to, about to mac on it. I'm gonna add five pounds from the last time I did this. Hopefully I don't tear my shit off. Got the big HAWK in my headphones. That is failure. Oh no, I hope it recorded, right? Let's see. That was the noise cancellation. I want you guys to have all the noise. That's important. You only know I'm training hard because of the sounds I make. The way I look is just drugs and genetics. All right, this is the arm. Oh, let's go. all it takes boys just one so yeah going up and in, in, in weight and beating reps on this thing from the last time holy smokes uh biceps were engorged 
and very fatigued. So my hammer curls felt exceptionally heavy. Um, this is a movement I used to use back in the day. I really like this bar. Obviously this isn't as stable as we could possibly be. If I had an arm blaster handy or felt like looking for one, I would use that. But shit, we're just gonna take this to failure and move on the back. And I don't think it's gonna take much. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I was using my shoulders and other shit at the end, so that's that. Once that's all you need. Whew. Let's hit those low rows. Alright. So my biceps are absolutely torched. My arms are fucking gas. And that is definitely having an impact on my strength here. So I'm gonna have to branch war in this set. I'm gonna do what it takes to get it back. And uh Try to apply all the tension on the negatives. I would say on any other machine or movement with this, I would go to an isolateral. But when doing the isolateral on this low angle, I, I lose the ability to to retract and loosen that scapula. Retract and contract my scapula. So I'm not getting that, that scapula rolling like I want which is what's training my traps on my upper back. So if I did it isolateral, I would just train my lats. I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to do that. So, uh, <clears throat> here we fucking go. Yeah, that's all I had. If this is a trend that would continue, then I would uh, assess the whole scenario, but I know this just from my arms being super blasted after those two sets. I mean, I can feel the tendons tight, the pump is so hard and painful. So it's just a little bleed over, but that's okay. My arms are way more of a priority than my back is right now. So, yeah, I might do triceps first and see if I got enough gas for another back movement. And uh, we'll go from there. What we've already established over the last year with back training is you don't need much. You need to pull from the different directions. Low angle row, working my traps and upper back. A standard pull down or a vertical pull down to train the rest of my lats, forcing the elbows as far back as possible to get the teres minor and major in. Um, the lower back, you know, you can isolate that. Reverse hyperextensions, et cetera, et cetera. I'm bodybuilding. There's a reason I don't deadlift. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to accumulate as little fatigue as possible, give my body as much recovery capacity as possible to get as big as possible. And what that looks like is it doesn't take much. So yeah, I'm stupid, stupid gassed. And uh, I'll just put some weight on here and I'm gonna take it to failure. I'm not worried about progressing on this. What I use at the muscle is much more efficient of a movement. But uh, these handles are pretty cool. This is the Mag Grips handles. I like them. They're not a true neutral. They're, they're like a sort of neutral, you know, not one way or the other, but it's a nice, nice place to make a hook with your hands. So let's get to rowing so I can get home, get to eating, get to resting. Get to growing. Oh, it's fucking heavy. <clears throat> Yep. Oh. 
yeah, that's that's plenty of good hit. Smoked. Smoked. Save triceps for last. Sorry about the camera angle. I didn't really haul it on a tripod or hit it right, so forgive the lights. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how fucking big and full we are. About to blow out of this 1XT. So, same on tricep extension. Very rarely do I ever find a good tricep machine, so it's cables, it's presses. I'm gonna uh, try to do this the best I can, you know? But I'm proficient at them. I've been doing it for a while. Um, I'm gonna go up and wait. Let's try to get four reps minimum. Uh, this will be an all-time high for me with 35 on this stack, which is one of the heavier stacks I've ever used. But anyhow, single arm tricep extension. Lock the elbow in, and try to scrub, push, squeeze. That big old tricep at the end. Oh my God. Yeah, I couldn't even apply force on the negative to stop it from running away from me. That, that was scary. Pushing through that last rep to try to force the lockout. Yeah, can't see in the light, but, but this one ain't even pumped. It's crazy. Whew, wow. You guys need to spam the comment section. So I get notifications later in the week and actually pay attention to them, but say hey Primark why aren't you prioritizing your weak arm when you train that's a great question <laughs> I'm just so used to going through the motions I, I trained the right first and I need to be training the left first if it needs more attention as you'll see the rep count will not be the same with this arm <laughs> Did y'all see how fast it came up on the negative? Holy shit. Well, I guess I'll do it again in 10 days. All right, so a little recap uh, on the session today, the arm session. There's a reason I've been doing my low angle rows first because now I've become efficient at training my arms. I can absolutely smoke my biceps and my bracts to the point where it totally digs into my back workout. And I definitely saw that happen. But I am not by any means disappointed in the stimulus that my arms got today. Um, my biceps were absolutely torched. My arms are so full to the point that they feel like bursting. And uh, I'll attach a little picture here of what they looked like when I got out of the gym. Um, I was kind of rushing through the workout, man. A lot of people in there, a lot of people walking up to me asking me if I'm filming myself, what am I doing? I had a kid ask me if I was natural. I laughed and told him no. He said, yeah, I didn't think so. Your forearms look stupid. And I was like, yeah, they're pretty nasty. Thanks, bud. The old dick beaters, you know what I'm saying? Them old dick beaters. That's not even the one I beat it with. Just kidding. Don't don't beat your dick, guys. Um, yeah, so it was a good workout. Definitely hamstrung myself in the back department as far as uh, you know the order of operations. Should have definitely done those low angle rows first. Damn, I'm be shaking everywhere. Should have done the low angle rows first. Didn't. Paid the price, but oh, was it nice for the buys. And that's the thoughts for today's warm and back training session. Yep, a little bit more extended warm-ups. 
felt really good, really excited to get in there, train today, looking to establish the new baseline, had a lot of uh, family troubles that happened since the show, a lot of craziness, um, so I had some layoff time, definitely wasn't training frequently at all, maybe once every seven days, let some shit lag off even longer than that, but um, it's time to get back at it strong, getting my food together, you know, really keep track of my eating and stuff, I kind of fell off, you know, after winning that title, I had life catch up to me, but that happens, um, like my old mentor used to say, and, and, and take it from the Primark, that life is going to throw a stick in your spokes, if you've ever had a stick get stuck in your bicycle spokes, it is a violent, intense stop to where you thought you were going. It's what you do after that. Life is always going to do that to you guys. It is always going to throw a stick in the spokes. But it's, what do you do? You get back up, you shake it off, you pull the stick out of the spokes, and you get back on the bike. You keep going. So that's what this is. We're getting back on the bike. I felt huge today. I've been eating good the last two days. You know, I decided that, hey, it was hard to get to my meals at work. You know, the, the standard chicken and rice stuff. So... I went and bought a bunch of Dave's Killer Bread, some good sandwich meat, the olive oil mayo, you know, made some better choice sandwiches, and i just been mashing them because I could set it on my lap, just grab it, bite it, put it back down, keep operating. I don't have to worry about a Tupperware falling on the floor. I don't have to stop. So making adjustments, rolling with the punches, and boy, I looked f fucking huge today. That was um, encouraging. You know, when you're, when you're slipping, you feel like you're falling off. You know, am I going in reverse? I'm not making the progress I should be. This is the rebound era oh, after the show. It's really not. I've been rebounding for fucking uh, 10 weeks at this point, you know. Because um, I won my overall title in a rebound. Anyway, we know how to grow all year long. All I've been doing is taking a little rest and just not eating as much. When I eat and I train like I know how, what happens? We really find out where we stand, okay? And we're in a good spot. So we just need to keep plucking, keep moving forward. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Look at this camera quality, boy. Everything's going to be like this from now on. All right. Love you.